What is going on YouTube? Well, it's sold. It's all sold. We are currently out loading the last of our 2020 barley here at the moment. Uh, we took it. We took a load out this morning. I'm a little bit behind the eight ball because I've been away for the weekend, so didn't have the camera organised. But uh, this has all been sold to a feed lotter. He he's operates about an hour and a half away from us, so that's good. We'll clean the shed out, and uh, we'll be starting afresh for 2021. We always try and keep as much as we can on farm uh, and try and sell it later because we don't have to pay freight costs through the silo system or anything like that. So we got probably a couple hundred ton here all up. All of it's gone now. We just load it up into the chassis bin over here. Uh, and then the, we got a, the bloke who's bought it, he comes in with a road train and then we load him up out of there. Let's get to it. While I'm standing out here, uh, I came out this morning just to have a look how these beans were going with their germination and I found something that I was most disgusted with. Uh, where? Here we go. Here's one. Here's a couple. These guys here. That has been chewed off by something right down at ground level. So something's coming along and biting them off down there. There's plenty of these around here. There's two just here. So I'm not very impressed with that. My best bet at the moment is that it's probably mice around the shed here. They probably come out chasing a bit of moisture or looking for something green and delicious, but might have to start doing a bit of baiting. So we got that problem there with my beans. Dad was just up having a look at um, some of the vetch that we sowed early on. Um, it's got some red-legged earth mite in it as well. Now what that does is basically eats the leaf, takes like the, the green coating off the leaf that does the photosynthesizing for the plant. It eats off that layer and then it damages the plants. I think we might have to get busy with a bit of pest control soon. Now, I'm going to go get the truck because in this silo here behind me, there's some grain as well. That's all going to go with that other stuff. Uh, we're having a good clean out here. Well, that's full. And that's full. Rightio, I'm going to run this truck back and we might see you guys tomorrow. Alrighty, good morning. We are back and we are going to head over first thing this morning and load up a road train, get him out of here, and then we'll see what else we can get up to for the rest of the day. So we are going to have multiple filling points here today for him. We've got, still got some barley in the 80 tonners over here, so we're going to fill up his front trailer out of that. We're also going to put another auger on the truck back here, uh, and we'll get the uh, auger, the grain out the back of the truck at the same time. Uh, and then we've got, of course, the old rusty chassis bin over there. So <sighs> we're going to have to orchestrate this one, and hopefully it'll go pretty smoothly. Put my jacket on. 
because it's cold. It's not cold anymore. All right, he's here. We're into it. Let's do it. That job is done. Thank goodness. Let's get out of here. Go find something else to do. Might go have a bite to eat even. I'm hungry. Ah! Alrighty, we have got a little bit of a change of plans for this afternoon. I was planning on maybe cleaning out the air seed or doing something like that, but ended up speaking with the agronomist and we've got a few pest problems and we've got a few crops that are up out of the ground. So we're gonna go take a look at them. See if we, uh, are uh, making the pass grade or making the fail grade at the moment? <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it if you want, Andrew. <laughs> Not for long though, mate. Real short, sharp and shiny. Lately I've been living like I can't take a long. There's one paddock that I'm dreading looking at. And that's back there. So you just do all the good stuff to it? You don't show them any of the problems, just it's all the, nah, all the good stuff have you got. We're gonna see, we're gonna see if we got any problems today. <laughs> <laughs> look at that and then they're gonna see. Look at that last, so you're not worrying about it for the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got a pretty good germination really for how it went in. <laughs> Considering the dry sign, definitely. Mm. The dry signs certainly are uh, more difficult and they really show the good air seeders and the and the, uh, the ones that are set up what right and the ones that are sort of borderline. There's the bank of you for all your Facebook followers. <laughs> I don't have Facebook. The, the sun is shining the right way for that. Look at that. That's glorious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's how you do it. Too bad it's only sheep feed. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you'd be hitting this with something. Not in a vet stubble. Not in a vet stubble. There was a lot of ryegrass in here last year. <laughs> Did that yeah. rob some of the... No. <laughs> So this is the vetch and sub-zero, but this is the stuff that had the red-legged earth mite, isn't it? Or what yeah. you assume to be? Yeah. 60 metres. What? That's red legs. See how it gets that? I looked about it. Yeah. That's that's out there. It sounds quite dry. Yeah. Jeez. I mean they're not, no, they're not horrendous for well, the They're here. Yeah. And because it's coming cold too now, it exacerbates it. So I'm not sure how well the camera can pick that up, but basically the leaves are looking dried. They're looking a little bit, yeah, they're just not flourishing. Red-legged earth mite, chewing on the leaves, doing damage. So we're gonna have to come back with an insecticide to sort them out. You can actually see, I could see it in the vets when you're driving along, like instead of it sort of looking bushy, it's all yeah. a bit shriveled, kind yeah. of. Yeah, it gets that dry look about it. Yeah. Because they're sucking. Yeah. Rightio. Make the old man open the gates. That's what the kings do, mate. We just sit in here, <laughs> <laughs> kick back. Oh, look at all those volunteer beans. Ooh. How long do you wait on the beans? You really can't spray them until the crop's three leaf at a minimum. Yeah. Nope, looks good. Do we pass? Get ticket approval. <laughs> Just order some spring rain and you'll be right, Henry. Yeah, that's it. We try and order that every year, but it, it definitely doesn't always come. <laughs> <laughs> trying to find a blocked hose for your viewers. <laughs> <laughs> there he is, there's a blocked hose over there. Like, <laughs> yeah. But I don't know how long it was blocked for. 
And I guess I should say to the camera that this was dry sown wheat, which I probably didn't say. I guess you probably want to point out to us had roundup, no knockdown. Yeah, well, I probably did say that when we were sowing it, but yeah, this had no knockdown, no roundup on it or anything like that. It was just sown with pre emergent, and that was it. <coughs> and it's looking very nice. <laughs> Now to the actual crop of beans. <laughs> so for germination right now, these beans look all right with the amount of plant numbers, or there'll probably still be more, more to come, wouldn't there? Yeah, there probably pretty, will be a few, much, but pretty much ninety percent there. You haven't seen the tops chewed off any? No, no. It must just be down there by the by the uh, shed. Look a whole lot more even. No, yeah. they're, a bit, they're a lot better sown this year than last year. Yeah. No, you, don't, you don't want them any thicker than that, that's, that's about right. So, any other problems? Plenty of ryegrass. <laughs> <laughs> Problem is, is you ripped a big crop last year, took all the grain off, and spread all the seed everywhere. All yeah, the ryegrass seed. I know, yeah. <laughs> See how it's roots? Yeah. Stunted? That's, oh, yeah. that's the pre-emergent. See how they've got that tip on them? Yeah. Normally roots have all got that fine hair. Ah, oh, okay. So pre-emergent damage. Mmm. We're controlling it. So does that affect the plant? Will it grow out of that or not? It will kill a large percentage. There will be some that gets through. Well, so yeah, that, that ryegrass might still die? Yep. yep. Yeah. When right. it dries out, because it's got pruned roots, when it dries out, um, the plant will, will, you know, will struggle for moisture and nutrients, and uh, and die. Well, there you go. Always learning something. <laughs> so yeah, see how that's got all fine root hairs. Those fine root hairs will get through. So those ones will be good to go. That's a prime example. What that one's knackered. So see the seed. It's shot from the seed, gone yeah. up. And see how those little roots there are all just stumps? Yeah. That's a proper example. There you go. So that'll probably end up dying. So that is our arch nemesis, isn't it? The old ryegrass. So yes, because this crop is beans, it will have a selective herbicide put over it which will kill a fair percentage of whatever ryegrass is left. That the pre-emergent doesn't kill. probably pretty hard to pick that up on a camera but this is supposed to be vetch it's in there Vetch. starting to push up now though lots of uh, volunteer barley from last year but the vetch is coming along yeah. same thing as with the beans this will get a selective herbicide on it to kill off all the grasses and this does not have red-legged earth mite damage which is good well, yes, this is the wheat that I was worried about. Not weeds, but more germination rate. Yeah. Nice clean rows. For now. I'm just worried about up on this heavier ground here. It just looks at a distance like it's a little bit thinner up on that heavy ground. But Looking from the road from a distance isn't always the best. No, if that was the case, I'd get my job done in a day. <laughs> you just sit back and look and go, nah, that's no good, mate. <laughs> oh, there's a rock. Just add it to the mine on the <laughs> It's not that big. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Maybe a little bit more sparse up in this heavy ground, you reckon? Hopefully it'll catch up a little bit. Yeah, that'll be no worries. So this will just get a broadleaf and a fungus all at the same time. And see any grease the header. Uh, grease the header. <laughs> Do you come back with your broadleaf sprays? Um, well here we'll have to go fairly early because the mustard is fairly thick. Yeah. And we don't want it competing and taking moisture and nutrients from the crop. Yeah. 
well, both of these last two paddocks were both sown without knockdown as well. Just pre-emergence. So maybe we can pull off a miracle and produce a decent crop out of it. Yeah, that's your shot right there. Money shot. <laughs> what do you reckon about the weight? Do we get a pass or not? I'll tell you in December. <laughs> if we can organise some rain. Yeah. 10 out of 10. <laughs> so bug spraying and then grass rain in about three or four weeks. Yep. So. No worries. We'll take the camera out your face. Thanks mate. Thanks for that. No worries. We'll catch you later. Good work. What are you doing? What happened to your jacket last night? I found that laying over here on the bricks. Huh? That feel good? Does that feel good? <laughs> Alrighty guys. I am going to leave this video here I think. Hopefully you enjoyed that little crop, uh, early crop inspection. We didn't go around and have a look at everything, it's just the stuff that's sort of up and established enough. Uh, we did take a pretty big risk on a few of those crops this year, put them in dry and to be honest they're looking pretty amazing for you know all things considered. Hopefully I can edit this video and you can make some sort of sense out of <laughs> everything that we're talking about there. But once again I'll leave this here, thanks very much for watching, we'll see you all next time. Cheers.